With the new season starting, UEFA just dropped their latest rankings, which are actually pretty wild. Just like Bournemouth signing Evan Nielsen for nearly 50 million euros. Premier League money is crazy. Porto is a Champions League level club, but now they're linked to Barcelona's Vitor Roque as his replacement, which I would actually be pretty excited about. Now, City have apparently been discussing names behind the scenes, including Zubamendi, but also Eze, who has a 60 million pound release clause. And speaking of attacking options, Juve are getting closer to Nico Gonzalez in that's because Fiorentina have booked medicals for Goodmanson. Juve have also almost completed the deal for Coop Miners. Atalanta are looking at Matt O'Reilly as his replacement, but also Samarjic. I'm also curious how you think PSG will do in the Champions League next season. Desiree Due is a done deal. But back to the Premier League, Ipswich Town are actually making some moves. Calvin Phillips is joining on loan, but they also agreed to deal with Blackburn for Sammy Smodix. He scored 27 goals and had four assists in the championship last season. Now, he definitely didn't play a role in these transfers, but Ed Sheeran has apparently bought a minority stake in the club. Tottenham have announced a surprise signing of Wilson Odebert, the young French winger, 25 million pounds plus add-on. I can't wait for the Premier League to start, and Sandro Tonali probably feels the same way. On August 28th, he's officially allowed to play again after his betting ban. That's going to be like a new signing, and Newcastle have a great team, but they didn't make UEFA's top 20 clubs. Man City is first, ahead of Real Madrid, then there's Bayern, Liverpool, and AS Roma in fit and then West Ham is above both Barcelona and Arsenal. That's pretty crazy. Just like how Ajax knocked out Panathinaikos from the Europa League qualifiers. That match went to 34 penalty kicks. Apparently it took 25 minutes. Anyways, this might be a little controversial, but Tebas apparently wants to bring the La Liga match between Barca and Atletico in December to the US. I'm curious what you think about it, but I'll catch you tomorrow.